Hello, I'm Gisela Rodriguez. I'm a student at Mesa Grande Elementary School. And my teacher is Mr. Rosses, and he's teaching a sixth grade class. And I did a science project on body language. My question was, is, if someone's lying, can you determine by their body language? Title. Can body language help you determine if someone's lying? If people are lying, can you tell by their body language? Hypothesis. I believe when people are lying, they will mostly show it on their eyes and facial expressions. My research was conducted by going to websites and watching YouTube videos and asking certain amount of people. Also, I have a expert with me, Alex Rodriguez, or known as my dad. I developed a set of questions which allowed me to observe their body language. I discovered that there's open-ended questions and closed-ended questions. Closed-ended questions are questions that you have to answer by yes or no. But it didn't allow me enough time to observe the body language. But in the other case of an open-ended question, an open-ended question is they could answer more than a yes or no. And that allowed me more time to observe their body language. I developed a set of open-ended questions which allowed me to observe their body language. I marked this down on a checklist and it was divided into sections. My first section was a paragraph and I read it to the person I'm doing the experiment on. The, here was it says. Hello, I'm conducting a science experiment for my school. Can I ask a set of questions which you have to choose of lying or telling the truth? I need to lie and tell the truth. However, please do not tell me if you're lying. Can you please answer the following questions? The next section was, I'll ask them the questions. My first question was, please describe the American flag. Everybody knows what's the American flag. Please describe an elephant. I have a picture right there. Please describe a giraffe. I have a picture right there too. My fourth question was, please describe what you're wearing right now. I could physically look at them and see what they're wearing. Please describe what type of weather we're having right now. I could look outside and look what the weather's like. Please describe what your hands look like. I could go outside and see how, well, I could see the, how their hands look like. And after I was done with that, I'll be looking at their uh, body. And there's certain place where I actually look at. So I'll be looking at their eyelids. I'll be looking for blinking, a lot of blinking and in their eyes. I'll be looking for if they'll be looking up for answers or are they looking up are they looking left or right or are they looking down. I'll be looking at their head if they're nodding yes when they're answering if they're nodding no. I'll be looking at their mouth I'll be hearing what they say if they repeat words or they give you too much information I'll be looking at their hands. I'll be seeing if they're trying to hold themselves together to not give you the answer. Be grabbing their hands together. I'll be looking at their body. 
be in there trying to get their place right, trying to get comfortable. And I'll mark this, for example. And if they're moving, I'll I'll mark it with a check check. But if they're if they didn't move, I'll just leave it blank. And after I'm done, I'll ask them if they'll be lying or telling the truth. So, and let's pretend they told the truth. So I'll mark it the truth and leave the other one blank. 